Jesus, you crazy mother. Welcome back guys to another video and uh, in this one I will be taking a look at running I2C peripherals or devices with Android on the Raspberry Pi. Now first of all what you need is RT Android for the Raspberry Pi. Now this is a separate project and it aims at running real time applications uh, on the Android operating system on different devices and one of the device that they support is the Raspberry Pi. Now it's based on the same source code that was made available by Peter Yoon. Uh, it's just their own uh, some modifications that they have done to make a real time application work faster. Now the reason we need this particular build that uh, it uh, supports I2C out of the box we only go we only need to go ahead and activate that. So I'll be teaching you guys how to do this uh, to activate the I2C module. Uh, for, so first of all go ahead and get yourself an RT Android build for the Raspberry Pi. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and second you would need to follow this awesome tutorial by ETA Prime on how to install uh, RT Android uh, using Linux uh, for your Raspberry Pi. Now first of all what you would also need is uh, I would recommend you have a Linux based operating system with ADB installed so the Android debugger bridge installed on the uh, Linux operating system you could use Windows but uh, I couldn't get I won't guarantee if it works uh, using Windows so first of all go ahead and grab that build now next what you would need to do is insert uh, the SD card into your Linux machine uh, because we first need to do some changes to the config.txt uh, file of the RT Android. So once you go ahead and insert the SD card in your Linux machine you should see four partition pop up uh, and one of them would of course be boot. Now you need to make sure that the following lines are there in your config.txt. So DT P A R A M equal to I two C one equal to on and D T P A R A M equal to I two C underscore A R M equal to on. Now of course I would have these two lines in the description as well. Uh, so do make sure that they are present in the config.txt of the boot partition. Once that is done, you can eject uh, the drive and simply uh, in reinsert it uh, in your Raspberry Pi. Now the next thing you need to do is power on your Raspberry Pi uh, and once it power once it is powered on go to the settings menu from there navigate to uh, about tablet uh, option and then from there select the status now in there if you scroll down a little bit you will see the IP address now depending upon what kind of network you are on IPv6 or IPv4 uh, you need to copy uh, the address or take a note of that address because that is what we will be using to connect on the ADB and also make sure that your uh, Raspberry Pi as well as your Linux machine is on the same network and next we what we need to do is open up a new terminal and from there uh, enter the following commands so the first one would be adb connect uh, and then the ip address of your raspberry pi and that should connect uh, to your raspberry pi and you will see it's connected to uh, the IP address and then successfully or something like that. Uh, next what we need to do is type adb space and then root. So that uh, gives us root privileges to our device and then again type adb connect on uh, your IP address for your Raspberry Pi. And once that is done you need to type adb shell and that you will bring you into the linux command line of the raspberry pi uh, and you can now take control and uh, go on with uh, installing or enabling the i2c module so first of all the I i2c detect program is already installed but when you uh, enter that command what you will get is that there is no uh, device uh, named I squared C so that means we do need to go ahead and enable that module so for that we will need to CD into uh, slash 
system slash lib and slash modules and that would give us uh, the list of modules that can be enabled and if you can see there we do have our um, i2c module listed right there so this is the one we need to activate and for that what we need to do is ins mod or short for insert mod or insert module uh, and then i2c dash dev dot ko once that is done you wouldn't see any special output but that means your module is inserted now when you enter i2c detect space dash y space one you would get an output the perfectly expected output now i do have my arduino connected to the raspberry pi and its address is 25 so that is perfectly showing there and um, inside the uh, device directory we can see that the i squared c buses are listed so the i squared c dash one is the one that we will use on the gpio pins but the i squared c dash two is somewhat internal and i wouldn't uh, recommend uh, doing too much to that because that might disrupt a few of the internal devices so uh, that's about it that's how you get i squared c to work so i to c detect program gave us a proof that it does work now i want you guys to go ahead and go crazy on this make applications that use i squared c modules let me know about if you did something like this before uh, on android and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one